Let's open up all nine beam object.com.rdp file. Revit ships with a fairly substantial library of family components that you can access quickly and easily through the load family tool that we saw in the previous video clips. However, even with these resources, you will quickly find that there are items lacking from the out-of-the-box offerings. You could, of course, build these items yourself, and we have a chapter devoted to the family editor later in the course to help you create these things. There are many websites available that offer Revit content as well. And so in this video clip, what I'd like to share with you is a website that provides a variety of components and families that you can download and use easily, and it's called beamobject.com. Here we are. This is one of the websites which I find to be providing a huge array of components and families related to both Revit, 3D Studio Max, AutoCAD format. I find it to be really, really useful, and I thought you should know about this as well. Before we are able to download and use any of the items here, we need to log in or register. And once we are here, you can either do create an account here, or we can use our existing Autodesk 360 account. So I'm going to click on this, and I can log in using my Autodesk 360 account credentials. And once I'm in already, I can begin searching under this big search bar here. For example, I'm going to look for washer. And I'm just going to pick on this one, Electrolux FI45 dishwasher fixed door. And down here, we will be able to see more information about the product itself. And we can click on download. And you will notice that Beam Object offers this model and its information in many, many formats here, including 3D Studio Max, for example, including AutoCAD, including Revit as well. So I'm going to choose the Revit format and I'm just going to download it in Lesson Files, Library for Lesson 4. And I'm just going to remember the name here, Kitchen Appliance Electrolux, Electrolux FI45 Dishwasher Fixed Door. So I'm going to save this. And I will go back to my Revit file. So what can happen is, next, I will go to Architecture, Component. I'm going to click on this Component drop-down list and click on Place a Component here. And with this, I will go to Load Family to load the new component that I have just downloaded from uh, beamobject.com. So this is the one, Kitchen Appliances Electrolux something something here. All right, And I'm going to click Open. And once it is in, we notice that it is already down here. So what's going to happen is, Again, when we are placing the object, we can use the reference here for our orientation. With this, we can press space to change the orientation of the component that we want to be placing. And you notice that it is also very intelligent in terms of being able to identify slanted lines or angles so that it orientates and aligns itself very neatly. So I'm just going to, for example, just put it here, this way. And then I can use the move command to quickly get it into the right location here. We can very quickly use this command here 
by doing a crossing selection and dx to be able to see this in 3D and rotate whether we have placed the component correctly in the right location or not. This way. So Beam.com provides access to lots of online contents for 3D models and Revit models as well. They are provided by many manufacturers who are keen to market and sell their products through this channel. So I encourage you to take some time to do some searches on beamobject.com and get comfortable with the offerings that are available there. I think it's a vast resource and you'll find it very useful in your project executions later on.